Simleys, it's still Chrissy here with Let's Play The Sims for Barbie, season two, part 26. And I've been missing this LP. I always miss this LP, even though I haven't recorded it for about a week. I miss it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So it's good to be back, good to be back at the dream house. And we also have some new exciting additions to this Let's Play because the kids stuff pack has just come out or came, actually I'm a bit late on the bandwagon, aren't I? The kids, the Sims 4 Kids Room Stuff Pack came out like mm, a week and a half ago. So I'm kind of excited to give Ruby a little bit of a makeover in this part. Barbie is in her third trimester, wherever she is. Let's put those walls down so we can actually see what's going on. I love how the whole family's up at like 3 a.m. in the morning. Totally normal. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, she is about to pop. Uh, it looks like she's craving some grilled cheese sandwiches. So... Uh, you eat up, girl. You are eating for two or maybe three. Wouldn't it be great if she just like randomly had quadruplets? I don't think you can have quadruplets in The Sims 4. They're only twins or triplets. Um, and then what's the other thing? Oh, yeah. I picked some of your beautiful uh, creations and Sims uh, for Jem's new house that he's moved into. So I'll probably show you guys that as well. But for now, let's get... Uh, let's give Ruby Roberts a little bit of a makeover. I actually like taking her up to Barbie and Ken's beautiful master bedroom suite because I, I don't know. I feel like she would love like dressing up in her mom's stuff um, all the time and stealing her lipsticks. And yeah, I just like that. And we also had quite a few comments that I read from you guys uh, regarding Amethyst's sexuality. Uh, it was interesting because I, at the beginning of the LP, I kind of said um, I thought she would be straight, but then after a while you guys were saying, oh, she should be bi or asexual or something like that. So I was like, oh, maybe we can experiment with those ideas. Uh, but I did notice several comments, like quite a few of you guys were saying, can you please not make her uh, bi or gay um, just because an alternative sim it's so like stereotypical to make them the bi or gay or whatever one and I don't know I don't like it doesn't stereotypes not stereotypes it doesn't bother me like I just sometimes I just think oh maybe this sims character would be interested in experimenting with the same sex or whatever so the point is I'm I have not yet decided on what her sexuality is. I think she's definitely been interested in both girls and boys, but she's never really fully acted upon it uh, other than a little bit of flirtation, but it doesn't mean that she is going to be gay or bi or whatever. So she's still exploring. She's still a teen and it's going to take her a little while to, to figure out who she really is. Um, and I think that's normal when you're a teenager, like totally. I mean, I had my point in time when I was like, oh my God, maybe I am a lesbian. And then a few days later, I was like, nah, I really, really like boys. <laughs> like I swear everyone questions their sexuality at some point. Um, all right. So little diamond here. We just, I mean, Ruby, God, I always call her diamond because she's always covered in sparkles. Uh, I don't know why I just always muck her up or get her confused. But anyways, I wanted to look at some of the new kids stuff pack things. I think this is quite cute. I know it's more casual for her, but I still think if we have a little tiara, she looks quite cute. Uh, or we can also do the new hair up do uh, this one, which... I mean, come on, that's adorable. What I might do is I'll actually... Uh, leave the tiara on with this outfit because it's a little bit more casual and I feel like she would want to have something extravagant on. And I'm also going to give her a little bit of bling. Uh, she is becoming quite the quite the queen or well, little princess rather at this point, but I just feel like we could dress her up with a few things. Maybe she wears a ruby necklace around her neck, except the crown's silver. Hmm. We might actually have to change that for now. Damn, I wish there was a silver one. Oh well, but we'll just give her some jewels. She wants to be as glamorous as her mom when she grows up. Keeping in mind, she's also a bit of a little brat as well, as lovely as she looks. Um, but yeah, she's she's definitely going to, to challenge uh, her siblings. She's a difficult one to get along with, I think. 
Uh, and I think her favorite sister would be Diamond because one, I get them muddled up all the time and two, I just think she would want to be everything that Diamond is. All right, so we have this little outfit. Let's change the dress to, did we want to give her the little, this little romper with her hair up, little play suit with her hair up perhaps? Where's it gone? Where's the hair up gone? There we go. I don't know, I don't, uh, maybe we'll make that her pajamas because I just feel like it's not, it's just not her, it's not her everyday wear. She needs something like this, an ombre. Yes, oh my Lord, I've been wanting to use this on her since the stuff pack came out and I'm so excited right now. E excited? Ugh. Excited, excited. Does this match? Oh, damn, I left my windows open. Sorry, guys, you're going to hear traffic <laughs> coming through. Uh, do we want, oh, maybe we just give her jeans. I'm a little bit frustrated how this top tucks in. Like, usually I love a good old tucked in top, but I feel like uh, in this case, I wish it wasn't. Let's just give her this one from Dine Out. I mean, it's still relatively new, right? And a little white skirt, perhaps, and we'll tie it in with the pink shoes. Ah! So cute. Can we give her a bit of a preppy vibe as well with some pink socks? Oh. Whoa. I, I mean, if we make the shoes white, all the shoes black to go with her hair tie, it kind of works. It kind of works. I don't know. I think I preferred it without the socks and the pink shoes. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. It's keeping it real, keeping it simple. And let's also give her the high ponytail look again. And then, and then, have you guys seen Dude, Where's My Car? And then, and then, and then, and So funny. Uh, this is just, I love it. I feel like we could maybe go a little bit of a different color. Actually, no, she has to wear pink. She always wears pink. Uh, and maybe do we want to go with like a double denim look or rose petal on her pants? That is so adorable having lots and lots of denim going on. Yes, with some little pink gumboots. Oh, I, f I think she's my child. I'm pretty sure she is actually my child and not Barbie's. And then <laughs> let's do the ombre top because sparkles. Should we make, I, I like the ombre, so let's do that and let's pair it with that new shiny, shiny skirt because why not? Um, so she can really feel like a little ballerina in that and we are going to leave her with, uh, oh, it'd be good to have some, oh, I wish we had ballet slippers for kids. I guess these are quite, quite adorable, these little shoes. Or we could go to purple because of the purple in the top. Yes, let's do that. Ah, I love her. Okay, so let's go back. We have this one. I feel like I'm going to put that at the end of the list because I have other clothes I want her, that I want to be her main ones. So let's just shuffle them around a little bit. So we have that as number one and that, let's just shuffle that. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. So that's her number one because I'm obsessing over this look. All right, and then I think just the other thing we'll do is, I, I'm happy with everything else, but I feel like we could change one of her outfits to this little romper. Actually, you know what? Let's just do both of them. Let's just do both of them and let's get rid of those slippers. She can just wear uh, these ones for a change because I don't feel like it goes with that very well. Do you think she'd plait her hair before bed? I feel like she'd ask her siblings or Barbie, can you please plait my hair before she goes to sleep? Uh, let's do it in little braids like this. Oh, beautiful. Okay, okay. We have so much to happen in this part. I feel like we should go over to visit Jem's new house so I can show you guys the new housemates. But because Barbie is about to explode, we can't miss the birth, so. I feel like we are going to take Barbie uh, to Gems as opposed to switching households. I think that's the best thing to do. And 
Oh no, I forgot to write down your name suggestions. Although I can remember the good ones, so it's okay. I just won't be able to give you guys shout outs. All right, well, see me as though it's 3.49 in the morning. <laughs> Nuts ideal. Let's just, you know what, Barbie? I think you've quenched your grilled cheese obsession or craving rather. Let's just, oh, you know what? Let's go for a shaky way. Hey. Let's woohoo with Kenny boy. Oh my gosh. I cannot call him Kenny boy anymore because that is boy Flickrissy's dad's name and his partner always calls him. Ke oh, let's just let him go to the toilet first. She always calls him Kenny boy. And then now I just think of him and it's just not a good mix. All right, well, let's go to the toilet and then we'll woohoo with Barbie. How's Amethyst going by the way? How is Amethyst? So many hoons outside, relationships going. She really needs to make some friends. She only has an enemy. Amethyst is like, maybe she's actually a bit of a loner, you know, at this stage. Uh, but I've added so many of your Sims to, well, not so many, but I've added quite a few Sims and some of your house builds from the hashtag Deligracy Barbie on the gallery uh, into the world. So hopefully they'll pop up throughout gameplay. Um, so I've put in there this house, uh, shout out to the Bristol Simmer, as well as one of your smaller house builds. I just thought it was really nice. And I don't know if you watch the Barbie LP, but in case you do shout out, and I just thought it was gorgeous. So a few random families are living here. I downloaded this one by Amy Morton because I just thought these characters were so cool. And my favorite part was when it said, um, <laughs> Maddox Faulkner isn't exactly your typical single dad of three. He wears Christmas jumpers in the summer and acts like a big kid more than his own sons and daughter. And I just thought that was a bit cute. Nice to get some diversity into the LP because we all know that the Barbie brand has always been very saturated with uh, pale skin, blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, and over time they got a lot better for sure. But to begin with, Barbie was very much like that. And I'm glad that it's different now. So we need to do that as well. This chick was awesome by Amfara's Lover 93. I just liked that she looked very seductive and the description was this used, is used to having one night stands, but will she ever find her perfect man? I feel like Jem is totally going to have a one night stand with her. And she looks like she's potentially an old lady. So, hmm. This guy is so cool. He reminds me of some of the surfer boys around uh, like the beaches further away from Melbourne towards Torquay. And his name is Praise Lane. Oh, is that not hot? Praise is a party lover and spent last year having the time of his life at Granite Falls Summer Festival of 2015. How good is that? And this year he decided to go to Windenburg. Party Central, he noticed a man called Jem Roberts and had an empty home and has applied on deligracymoves.com and that he would like to stay. <laughs> so he's a really cool guy and he has his eye on honey, which is going to be a bit of an interesting love triangle. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, we might move him into Jem's house. Currently he's not there, but he could like sleep on the couch. I don't know, maybe cause some issues with Jem and Honey. Uh, this was really cute. I liked this chick. I liked that she's like kind of buff. I thought she was cool. Like check out those abs. Uh, but Colleen had a hard childhood and because of it, she believes love, it, love doesn't exist. Right now, Colleen just sees Jem as someone to watch sports with, but could Jem help her learn to love? So she's out in the world as well. But the actual uh, roommates that I've put in with Jem are these three by TNYTRVI. Viella. And I just loved these Sims because they're also different looking. I think my favorite Sim is totally Akash. How do you say that? Akash? Akash. Can someone please tell me? Um, but these Sims are great. I think Mariana is just stunning and I like that she's got a bit of curves and Edgar is just, he's just hilarious. Um, so it says no one really knows how these three Sims became friends, but it happened. Akash is the chillest guy around. Mariana is a passionate firecracker that many can't handle. And Edgar is dot, 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 just strange and mopey. <laughs> he used to be homeless and needs a serious makeover, but his friends accept him for who he is. And I just thought, you know what? It's time for Jem to really live a little. He's been such a spoiled boy his whole life. I'm glad we can get like 
Edgar, who's been homeless in living with him. So really cool. I made a couple of changes. I made Mariana a little bit more curvy. So I hope you don't mind the creator. And I also gave her a couple more outfits and I changed Edgar's hair to red, which I know is not what the creator had, but I just think there's so many blondes in this LP. I had to mix it up a bit. So uh, that's pretty cool. I also put in the Parks family, a snotty guy for Amethyst. This was a great storyline. Uh, Lucian is the perfect guy for Amethyst, as Barbie says, but in reality, he's exactly the kind of guy Amethyst does not like. Blonde, rich, charismatic, and snotty. Can't she just find her shy, dreamy hipster? But to please Barbie, Amethyst decides to take a chance on Lucian. Will he be able to woo her and win her over? I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right either. But yeah, he's like, a total snob, self-assured, materialistic, everything you probably don't want in a guy. <laughs> or at least Amethyst doesn't. And we've got some roommates for Jem. These two were really nice. I particularly loved the look of this guy because it's so different to how I make my Sims. Uh, so I popped those in and these guys were pretty cool. Jem's roomies. I particularly liked Derek. I thought he was an awesome Sim creation. Um, so thank you, Teenage Witch 13. I think you've been to some of my live streams, so. Um, and this description was really cool because it says, Derek was the son of the movie's direct... Oh, sorry. As Jem is moving into his place, he calls up three old friends he met at his senior year at the movie kickoff of Diamonds Are For Sims, which is one of the movies you can watch uh, with the movie Stuff Pack. Derek was the son of the movie's directors and sat in the box with Jem and his family. Cassie... Oops, I'm getting a phone call. Alrighty, I just had to go to the door because a friend dropped in uh, to drop off some keys. So that is good. Uh, where were we? So diamonds off your sims. Derek was the son of the movie's director and sat in the box with Jem and his family. I love how realistic this is. And then Cassie and Amelia both had minor parts in the movie, which kicked off, kicked off their careers. All three of Jem's old friends agree to move into the beach house and share adventures with Jem. Will Amelia seduce him or will he stay loyal to Honey? How cool is that? I just thought that storyline was awesome and I couldn't go without doing it. And also these are some previous creations that I put into the game earlier. So they'll be popping up a little bit too. Uh, but yes, so those are a few. Um, anyways, thank you so much for your creations though because I looked through most of them and... There were quite a few. I got through, a, I, th I reckon I had a good look at at least half, like reading all the descriptions and seeing their traits and stuff. And uh, there was actually an extra girl with gray hair who I placed straight into the world. Not Blair, someone else. So, yeah. Oh, righty. Let's just get Amethyst to go to the toilet. She's also going to need some energy. It's Wednesday, so she'll be going to school tomorrow. Let's... Put her to bed after using the toilet. How's Topaz going? Hmm, he's he's looking a little bit like he needs a sleep too. He has the best bedroom. Oh, what? Mess around with who? Oh, yes. Is she still here? Mess around and go to sleep. Love it. Oh gosh, Bobby is seriously about to explode. And Onyx? And uh, Ruby here. Oh, Onyx always looks so sad. Like he's... Ruby is so mean to him, I swear. Uh, it also doesn't help that he's ridiculously tired and he needs to use the toilet. Uh, so we will we will go over here and he can use the bathroom and then jump into bed. Uh, go like that. Did we make him a genius? Yeah, a bit of a whiz kid. Just forgot for a second then. I'm a terrible Sims mother. Absolutely terrible. Okay, so Diamond's eating. I mean, Ruby. God, why do I keep calling her Diamond? <laughs> so frustrating. Uh, and looks like Topaz got rejected. Did he? Wait. He's just going to nap there? Come on. Mess around. <laughs> uh, could she not get into his bed or something? No, it looks pretty... Pretty much like they should be able to hop into that bed very easily. Uh, but I'm sure Barbie and Ken are... Uh... Oh, where'd she just get up? Is there music on? TV's on? Oh, she's like, I should get going now. All right. Well, he tried to have a go. All right, look how big this house is. Oh my God, Onyx like has to walk 
all the way from one side to the other. I'm going to fast forward through the night and resume uh, a bit later. Okay, so I fast forwarded for like an hour because I didn't realize how late it was. Uh, school starts pretty soon. Let's get Ruby up. Oh, she's uncomfortable. <gasps> the monster! We missed seeing the monster! Damn it. I really wanted to see that. I still haven't seen it in gameplay, so... Eh. I feel like that's no good. Uh, let's have a quick meal. We'll just have some cereal for breakfast. And then Onyx. Onyx also saw the scary thing. And he's now too scared to sleep in a bed right now. Oh, no. <gasps> there it is! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There it is. That's so cool. And Ken is starting the day with a fizzy fruity breakfast drink. Nice one, Ken, in his love heart little boxes. Looking good, my man. And Barbie, surely she's about to explode. Like she must be. She must be very close to giving birth. Oh, are they going to share like a little Chandler romance King. right now? Woohoo in the bush. Let's be exhibitionists. Is that what you call it? Exhibitionist. Go, go, go. Oh, oh. Which bush are they going to go to? Well, I mean, all the kids are at school, so why not? Uh, where? Wait, why does it say the kids aren't at school? Time for school. Okay, I think they're all off to school. And I'm going to get Onyx to study really hard because we want him to do very well. <gasps> look at the... Oh, look at that little smack on the bottom. That was a bit cheeky. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Cheeky McCheek Cheek. I think I'll put some backing music in this part of the LP so it's not just silent the whole time for you guys. Oh, I love this garden. Isn't it magical? Like, I know it's totally over the top, but look at it. It's like Alice in Wonderland garden. Why aren't they at school? Why? Why are you running? Why are there no school buses in this place? Like, do they have to run all the way to school? I mean, it's good for their fitness by all means, but oh, oh my gosh. All right, so once they're back from school, we'll go visit Jem's household. And we also should really visit Diamond because I want to see how um, how little Mercedes is going. I'd love for the, her to have another child. So it's like Mercedes and Margie. That would be cute. Uh, I cannot believe these guys are still running to school. You've got to be kidding me. Maybe, uh, or maybe we'll just take Ken and Barbie to Jem's house. Okay, so let's go knock on the front door. Hi, Jim. He's like, oh, why is my mom here? This is so embarrassing. Now, as if you would be embarrassed to invite Barbie over. Oh. Let's give a hug to Jem. She'd be like, oh, Jem, it's so nice to be here. He's like, hi, mom. I wish we could get uh, him and his dad to just shake hands because he's just a bit like that. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll get them to chat about repair tips. So here we have Edgar Keen, the guy who used to be homeless. Looks like he's enjoying new technology now that he's been brought in by Jem. <laughs> it's kind of nice that uh, Diamond is here as well. And yeah, this house is pretty epic. It's going to be a crazy party house. And then upstairs we have the very, very gorgeous and beautiful Mariana. Isn't she stunning? I feel like Jem is going to be so like, think she's the hottest thing ever. And then over here we have the amazing Akash. Akish? Akish? Akash? I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but I think he's like the coolest dude ever. He's so necessary in this Barbie LP. And I also just changed the house up a little bit. So Jem has his big room here. He has a lady in a bikini over his bed because you know what? That was just perfect. And that painting was already in this room. So I just sized it up. And then over here is Akash's room and also what Edgar's. 
Um, and Akash is like a bit of a hippie lover. He's like vegetarian. No, he's probably vegan. He's like all into Zen stuff. So he has a bonsai tree. Uh, and does art and stuff. Meanwhile, over here, Edgar just sleeps in the corner. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the house. That's pretty much what's happening right here. But in the next part, I can't believe Barbie hasn't popped yet. So she's got to give birth in the next part, like surely. Surely. Uh, she just seems to be eating and craving a lot of food. So we'll just let her do that. And in the next part, she'll probably have a baby. Because we always want her to have twins. She does have the fertility trait and oh the fertile trait and <gasps> Oh my god. She's about to age up. Well, she's going to need the potion of youth as well, so don't worry. We'll 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 keep she'll get some work done. She's not gonna age up, you guys. She can't. <laughs> she has like a hundred babies to have. Anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon.